over the many years that I've been practicing, I have been asked uh, questions like, what are the most common uh, types of tickets that, that I would see? Um, I'm gonna try to answer that with that experience in mind, and I'm gonna give you what I believe to be uh, the 10 most common traffic tickets that's, that, that would come across my desk or that you may see as you're driving around. Some of these, ironically, I've actually experienced uh, on a first-hand basis where I've been pulled over myself and, uh, and had to deal with it. That being said, let me tell you, probably, uh, and I'll start in the best order that I can from memory. Top one that everyone seems to be involved in at some point in their driving career would be speeding. Uh, that could happen anywhere, on a highway, that could happen on the back roads, and it certainly for most people happens at, at a, uh, when you're in a position where you have no idea and you usually read your speedometer and you're caught. That being said, it, it's the segue to the next problem, which is along those same lines, which would be stunt driving. Most of the stunt driving uh, cases that come across my desk or through the firm here at OTD Legal um, are going to be uh, generated from some speeding, all right? So speeding at certain level, levels get you directly into what's called stunt driving. I have other videos that you can look for that explains these specific things uh, that may be of value that you can look at next. Um, one of the other most common things in, in most recent years has been uh, what we call distracted driving, use of electronic devices when you're driving a motor vehicle. Uh, those defenses are available. Uh, that's the one that seems to be very popular with not only you know coming into OTD legal, but popular with your insurance company. If you get one of those, the consequences are very significant. The next uh, most common in my mind would be something like careless uh, driving. Very common, uh, even a minor accident usually imports a charge to someone of careless driving. Obviously that raises an eyebrow and it is of, of, uh, uh, of concern and it should be. Again, have a video that'll discuss that in much more detail for you. Uh, please look at that. Um, another one would be uh, driving without insurance. Uh, there's, in some cases with clients, there's some intent. Uh, there's a complete dry up in funds for whatever reason, and they decided uh, not to pay that particular bill. And as a result, they ended up being caught for driving a motor vehicle without insurance. Quite common to see, big fine. We have a specific video to deal with that if you have questions about that. Driving while suspended, along those same lines. When, you're, when you start not paying your insurance, uh, sometimes bills are neglected, sometimes even a fine is neglected, and you end up with a suspended driving charge. That in itself is a problem because it is a big fine. In addition to that, uh, it increases your suspension. So even if you paid off the fine, for example, now you've imported a mandatory six month suspension. Go to those videos, You'll, you can get some more information on that. Failing to surrender document charges, another key common uh, offense that you may see. Uh, not having your driver's license, not having your insurance card on in the vehicle, those types of things. Um, another one would be off the top of my head, uh, uh, failing to, uh, to stop for a school bus or uh, passing a, a school bus. Very common, easy to do. Uh, but a big problem for someone that gets in that situation, not only for the obvious danger, um, that's pretty rare that there's actually a collision, but the uh, consequence of that conviction can be a big problem uh, for people. Um, not having a seatbelt. There's two specific months that you see those uh, more common than others. Uh, October and April, uh, across Ontario, they have blitz enforcements for those types of things. Um, you'll see a lot of those, particularly troublesome for professional drivers who are trying to keep their ads abstract clean of convictions and of demerit points and of CVOR points. Um, and then probably number 10 would be uh, improper turns. That could happen at an intersection. Uh, that could happen in uh, turning into a driveway. Violations such as that, turning in or out of driveways, uh, turning uh, is, is uh, what I would rate number 10 and quite common uh, for us to see 
uh, across our offices.